Alrighty, and what's up guys? It's Hawksborough here, back with another Graveyard Keeper video. Now, uh, to start things off, I will say that I had recorded a video, or started to record one, and then the file corrupted. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> that happened, and there were a couple things we did. The good thing about this game, though, is that if you do, like, a whole day or something and you realize something's corrupted, you can actually go and fix that issue um, by just exiting the game, because it won't save it. Now, uh, I got a lot of the gravestones put in and whatnot, and we're currently at 17 of the white skulls, and we can now fix the graveyard and open the church. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I was definitely right about you. I hereby pronounce you the official keeper of this holy place and prior of this church. Let's arrange your first sermon. Haha. -ha. That's a lot. Okay. What words? The words, haha, -ha, actually you could say whatever you want. You know, this place isn't so bad. Put up some extra decorations, some nice candles, music, incense, all oiled up from a nice massage. Long story short, all this stuff will help you get more faith, and faith is power. So we've unlocked faith. Uh, this allows us, uh, prayer for faith allows us to do sermons and preacher that makes you, so you can arrange stuff, stuff at the church. And now what we do is we go here, we click on this, we put our uh, casual prayer into our slot. May the force be with you. Not, not too bad, but my sermons are much better. You should really prepare for your next ceremony. I think the last prayer kept some books with some wonderful words in the church library. You'll probably find some weird stuff in there too. I use engaged desire to the research. So we've unlocked a bunch of blueprints. So we got study table, gathering old books, and curious mind. I'll spread the word about your next ceremony. Maybe next week someone will show up. So we have to um, perform a, a ceremony on this day every week. And he has a small task for us. So I should be able to talk to this guy. Now, before my game, or my uh, file corrupted for the recording, I followed this guy out. And he just straight up disappeared. He wanted me to find him, but I can't find him anymore. So this is basically where you can uh, get different things. This is where we get our, um, our meat stamp from. Hmm. Okay. I'm not going to read all this, but if you want to read it, you can pause to read, so. We can get a exhumation permission, which actually we probably need to get one of those because there is... Is it this one? Yeah. This body right here is no bueno. But uh, we'll deal with that in a little bit. We have a body to deal with now. It's at 54%. So we'll grab this. So what are you, a cleric now? Seems so. Hmm, I don't remember anything after my death. Maybe there's nothing there. Or maybe I just forgot everything. Amnesia can be a useful skill, you know. Can it now? Alright, so let's take the blood. Ah, darn. We'll try and remove the fat, see if that uh, equals things out. Yeah, that, that works. We can go with that, I think. That should be fine. So we're going to put this body up. And we're, uh... I'm going to go out and collect some stone... So that we can, um, uh, 
make some more gravestones. How many do we need? Let me count so I don't make too many. Need two. Two right now? Yeah. Uh, I also made a bunch of these um, wooden grave fences, as you can see. That was another thing I had done. So, yeah, there's that. So let's run over here. We don't have much energy. All right, let's grab these mushrooms. Because we're going to need the food. Um, as you can see, we don't have any stone on our palette. And I was in the middle of making more of those. So let's put this stuff right here. Put that in there. Put the honey pot in there. I'm actually going to take the body parts. And we're going to put them in here. Uh, so now that we have the um, church, we have the church basement. We have three of these. So what we need to do... So let's see. I don't think I have... Oh, I do have enough. So let's make one of these real quick. Oh. Okay, and we'll make another one. Because we need two anyways. And I'm going to show you what you do with this. So we're going to go down here to our church. Run, 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 all the way down. Oh, here we go. I do want to say sorry for not having videos up for like two days in a row. Um, that's a body. I had a lot going on um, during those two days. So I wasn't able to record. Um... But I'm back now. So what we need to do... Okay, hold on. We need to... There's a thing we have to build. It's not the study table. It's something else. Hold up. I gotta find what it is. Uh, what is it? What is it? I don't think it's any of the... It's something I have to get. I just don't know what it is I have to get. I thought it was, at least. Huh. Maybe not? Wait. It might be the research table. Yeah, it's the research table. So what do we need for that? No, it's, that's not the research table. That's a study table. So that's not what we need. Hmm. We can, though. Oh, we can use this. Alright, I'll have to figure it out. I can't remember exactly how to do it right off the top of my head. But essentially what you do is there's a table you get that allows you to um, turn, like, papers and stuff. Actually, I think I know. Hold up. Is it a desk? It's not a desk. Paper skinning. Yeah, there we go. Alright. That's a part of it. Give me one second, guys. Alright, guys. Sorry about that. We're back. Um. So what we're gonna do... Oh, we can only make the one. But it gives us three, I believe, so... We should be good. Uh, I went out... Apparently I can't speak today. I went ahead and slept. Um, another thing I did is I made a couple of these plots. So, there's that as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll finish these two up. Okay. And we will run over to our graveyard. Now, one thing I do want to say... We have a body, don't we? We do have a body. Uh-oh. Let's 
going on here? It looks like you're doing all right here. Yes, I just opened the church. So now you own everything here? Yeah, I guess. You're a lucky man. You acquired all this capital. You work for yourself. You're a true capitalist now. But this world has no such reward for a hard-working donkey like me. Even you are benefiting from my cheap labor. Uh-oh. Here, here's a little present just for you. Oh. Carrot seeds. So, um... The next time the donkey comes by, he's actually going to ask us to leave carrots in, like, a little bin for him. Oh my gosh. Oh, man. It's a lot of red skulls. But, um... That didn't do... Because of a surgeon's mistake. God, I need to unlock that. Is that any better? It's down to two. Um... Hmm. We're not keeping this body, I don't think. We'll take the bones, I guess. Yeah, see, it's still two. We're gonna take the skull. Yeah. Alright. So this guy's going in the river. Oh. Sorry, buddy. Alright, um, so here we go. There we go. Put that in there. Now we're gonna do this. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go boom. Boom. And put that right there. Look at that. We're at 19 quality with our graveyard. Beautiful. I'm loving this. So this will go up to one. Yes. Because these gravestones give two of the white skull. So now we're at 22. Look at that. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. So we're making progress on that. Um, which is good. We need to. Uh, let's see something. Known PCs. What all do we need to do? Get a bottle of wine. What is today? Well, it's, not, it's not the right day for him. Uh, merchant. 12 carrots, 12 carrots, 12 beets. Hiccup grass. Hiccup grass grows in the marsh. Uh, we can't get to the marsh yet because we gotta fix that um, bridge. Uh, honey pots. We can go get another honey pot today. Uh, we can't do meat to Horadric just yet because we don't have the stamp. The stamp is expensive, so. Look down here, we have 23 uh, bronze and 8 silver. We need, I think it's either 50 or 60 silver for um, the meat stamp. And what you do is you can actually come over here. That or you can get it from, uh, uh, what's his face? So you need um, 30 of the royal services to get the stamp to begin with. So, there's that. Alright. Is it this one? Yeah, we'll leave it for now. I'm not gonna make a fuss over it just yet. So what we're gonna do... Ooh, I'm stuck. Is we are going... Get our food first, because we need that. And then we're going to put all this stuff up. Now, actually, we will need the skulls for something eventually. So, 
it doesn't hurt to have the skulls. We'll go ahead and plant these carrot seeds too. So with the carrot seeds, come over here, you put this right there, bada bing, bada boom. Just like so. There we go. And those will grow and we will get carrots and we will have to feed the donkey carrots in order for him to bring us a body. Let's grab these mushrooms. They're important. All right, there we go. So I need to figure out what to do for, um, oh. We can get the important parts. Go ahead and get that, actually, because that'll make uh, our extractions better. Which is what we need. Alright, so I'm going to sleep real quick, and then we will be right back. Alrighty. There we go. We can go ahead and put this stuff in here. Um, I don't have enough. Another thing I need to get. Oh, we can get beekeeping. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Trunk. I don't really think we need a trunk. Uh, one thing we do is the gathering moths. We need that. Advanced foraging. We'll go ahead and unlock that. Do we really need this, though? Yeah, let's go ahead and get it. We'll get that, too. It doesn't hurt to get ahead of the game, honestly. So one thing we'll have to get... Oh, I keep hitting the wrong thing. One thing we'll have to get here soon is the uh, circular saw so we can get the wooden beams. And that will allow us to... Uh... Oh, excuse me. That'll allow us to fix some of those tunnel ways underneath our house so we can connect everything. Oh no, it's starting to rain. I need to figure out what I need to do for um, to get what I need because I need what I need, but I can't get what I need if I don't know what, what I need, so. We're gonna run in here. So one thing we need is these research points. Now, I'm trying to remember how to get them. See, I can't even get them that way. Hmm. Interesting. But since we have energy, we are going to go ahead and break this stuff down. Let's see. What do I do with these? Oh, there we go. That's what I needed. That's right. Okay. So these will decompose into that. So now we have four of those. And we can actually go make a gravestone and research the gravestone. And what that'll end up doing when we research our gravestone is we can start getting those um, blue points, I believe. I think that's how that works. So let's go make a gravestone real quick. <laughs> it's for science. What did I do? Oh, there we go. Thought I hit the wrong button. Scared me for a second. I thought I hit the stop recording button. That wouldn't have been good. So now that we're back down here, what we can do, we can go here, bada bing, bada do, bada bing, bada boom, study this, 
And now we have blue points. Eh? Look at that. Um. I'm gonna keep these down here for now. As well as this. So we won't need it for a second. Um. We can do that with the books. Oh, no, we need those. At random text generator study table. I don't have that yet, so. Alrighty. The merchant is here today. I don't need him, though. Not right now. So, one thing I love about games like this is that, um... You know, it's it's more of a casual play game. You don't have to be super quick with going through the story. I, excuse me. To be honest, I'm not a person who likes to rush through games. I like to enjoy them. I don't know about anybody else, of course, but I actually like to stand, sit there and enjoy a game as I play it. I don't like rushing through them because I feel like you don't get the whole uh, picture of everything. So we're going to go over here. We have the merchant. He doesn't have anything we want currently, so. Ooh, excuse me. I don't know if y'all hear, heard that, but I hope you didn't. Um, we have two burial certificates. We get should get three for that. Yep, so now we're up to 11. Exciting, exciting. Carrot cutlet. Okay. Interesting. But yes, that is one thing to do. Now, um, I'm not going to do it right now because it's raining and the rain's annoying. It's very loud too, apparently, so we're going to ignore that rain for a minute. Uh, instead, what we're going to do is, uh, we can actually upgrade stuff in the house. Um, so we can actually get an upgraded cooking table. Almost. Uh, oh good, it stopped raining. We can also now make an anvil. I think I'm gonna put it right here. Alright. We have a carpenter's workbench. We have a stone cutter. Alright. So with this uh, anvil, we can actually make complex iron art, uh, parts now. So... We'll make a couple of these. There we go. And then we need, let's see. Wooden planks. I think it's like three, maybe four. So we'll get these real quick. And then I believe we need sticks, if I remember correctly. No. Uh, oh, we need nails. I don't know why I was thinking sticks. So let's put those back. Let's get our nails. Like so. Oh, we need two more. We can make two more. That's fine. We have plenty of iron now. Uh, right here. And this gives us eight nails, so it'll be more than enough. Alright, now we should have all of our ingredients. Yep. So now our cooking table is upgraded. Look at that. So 
it'll allow us to have um, more recipes, I think. So once we get more recipes, you know. Um, I want to know what this utensil rack is. I'm going to assume these are pictures and stuff. Uh, we could probably do a cupboard. I want to do this. I can't do the household rack right now. I just realized. But yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I think the uh, trash people are out today. Alright. Alright. That's great, though. I'm happy with that. Look at our pretty updated cooking table. It looks so good. So we're going to take another nap. And I've decided uh, whenever we go to sleep, I'm going to go ahead and skip. So it'll be a cut from when I go to bed and then we wake up. Because it takes like 30 seconds for this guy to sleep. So, yeah. I'll be right back. Alrighty. There we go. So, let's see. What else do I need to do? I have a little bit of money. Not a whole lot, though. And I wonder. I need to actually um, look up and see what I can sell. Oh, I don't want the tree. I don't want the tree. I want... No. No. Bad. Okay, we're chopping down the tree. Again. There we go. Now we've got that. So we'll do it like this. Put that there. We'll go get the other mushroom. Oh, stuck on a tree. No, I don't want to cut down the tree. I want the mushroom, man. Come on now. There we go. And I can also put all this stuff up. So it's not in the way. I'll put that in there too. All right, put the mushrooms up. Let's go ahead and go get our honey pot. We haven't done that and we need to do that. Running, running, running. There's our honey pot. Let's grab this real quick. Take a little bit of damage. It's worth it. You know, I would like to um, fix this. So if we go into technologies, we go here. We need 20 of that. Have that. Because I want to get the bee domestication. That's what I want. I want to raise bees. They go buzz. You know, uh, fun little fact, I actually have, uh, during the summer, spring and summer, um, we have carpenter bees that live around my house. And let me tell you something. Normally, I'm terrified of, like, hornets, wasps, things like that. But, uh, carpenter bees, they are the best. Uh, yeah, they destroy wood and stuff, but um, they'll also protect you. And I know that's weird to say, but I legitimately will have a carpenter bee uh, who guards the front of my house in, like, my driveway. And they chase off. Like, if there's a wasp around, that wasp stands no chance. These carpenter bees will, like, gang up on this wasp and chase them away. And I love it so much. And, um, every year, it's usually just one. It's usually just one carpenter bee that's in my driveway, but they'll be around the house in general. And, um, <laughs> this one little carpenter bee, when you step out of the house, he comes up to you, he looks at you. And he, you know, he's assessing whether or not you're a threat. And once he's like, okay, you're good to go. He just kind of moves out of the way like, all right, you could pass through like a guard guarding a gate to a castle. It's great. I love it. Um, but yeah, we call him Steve. 
He's Steve the Carpenter Bee. And uh, my family absolutely loves him. So, fun little fact about, uh, about that, so. Oh, our carrots are growing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, uh, get a couple more of these done real quick. So, we're going to do, I'm going to try something here. We'll see if it works. So we're going to go ahead and, oop, here we go. Alright, there we go. Alright. That didn't work out how I wanted it to. That's okay. I didn't do it right. Alright, so let's get some of these done. Oh no! It broke. That's okay. You can fix it. Look at that. We fixed it. Yeah. Um, one thing I need to do is get up some, uh, some green points and... Yeah. So we're gonna collect some of these, I guess. These are used for, I think, like, dyes and stuff, honestly. Not a whole... 100% sure on that. Crematorium. We have not unlocked that yet. Yep, there we go. I don't want that. Oh. Alright, so what you do... Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Find the right spot, and you just push it. There we go. So one thing I want to do eventually, once I'm able to get the, um, the beams, I think is what they're called, I want to build another one of these wood racks and move this, uh, stone area so that I can, uh, put another one next to it. So let's see something real quick. You know, I could increase my yard space. I might just do that. Let's see, what all do we need? I'm, I have horrible memory, guys. Ten complex iron parts, wooden planks, and nails. We've got the nails, so we need the iron parts and wooden planks. Oh. Which we're not going to have enough energy to do. Let me go ahead and eat this. Alright. Now we need the iron. Nails. Is the nails? I want to make sure I do this right and don't. No. Okay. I understand. What do I need for. Okay. So let's get some more Fletch. We don't need that much Fletch, but. That's more than enough right there. Two, three, four. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Oh, just barely. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and munch those. And then we need 10. Oh crap, I didn't do that right, that's okay. get a bunch of these. And then we'll set up for these. Because we're out of energy now. I don't think I have anything else I can eat unless I can eat the flowers. Hold on. Make a very special dish out of it, or it might kill you. I'm not going to take that bit. <laughs> Can I eat these? 
Oh, I can. I'm a dummy. Let me eat all these then. Okay, let me grab the other ones. I didn't realize I could eat these. So let's eat all of these. That gives us a little bit of energy. Probably not enough to finish this, but... Yeah, not even close. Okay. Ah, that's not good. Alright, we're gonna have to rest. I really don't want to rest, though, because I keep resting so much. Um, but there's also not anything we can do if we don't have energy. I need... I need water. Because I can make bread. If I come over here, I can actually make bread. How much does a fried- oh, a fried egg gives 13. Maybe I should just go buy a ton of eggs. Should I just buy a ton of eggs? I think I might just buy a ton of eggs and fry them. We've got to get this food situation sorted. The one good thing about um, the donkey uh, when he makes, when he's going to make us give him carrots in order to bring a body is we can control when a body comes in at that point. If we don't put any carrots in, he's not going to bring a body. Oh, why is it so expensive? There's only five. There we go. The money doesn't make sense to me in this game so far, but that's okay. Alrighty. So I'm going to skip to when we get home because it is a bit of a walk. Alrighty, so let us... Get our five fried eggs. Woohoo! How long do they take to cook? Oh, they cook super quick. This isn't gonna take long at all. Alright, so what, one thing we can do. There we go. That way it's not just sitting there. I hate that. So, I think what we'll do is we will expand our, um, our area by our house, and then we'll end off the episode there. We did actually do quite a bit today, so I'm, you know, I'm pretty happy. So here's what we do. Drag this down, put it right there. Nom nom nom. Alright, that should be enough. To get us through. Hopefully. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Increase our yard space. So now, we have all of this space. Like this. So we'll clear all this stuff out. Go ahead and run our energy out real quick. So, um, with this game, I have to get into the habit of sleeping before I end off the episode. Because, um, I don't do that, and then I'm like, crap, I didn't sleep. I, so I didn't save my progress. So, yeah, we can go ahead and sleep since we're pretty much out of energy. And we shall end off the episode. Alrighty guys, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of Graveyard Keeper. Uh, this was episode 4, I believe. So we're doing good, we're doing good. Uh, one thing is, is make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I want your guys' opinion, because I think I brought this up in a, a Rival Stars Horse Racing. So I'll bring it up here too, if I haven't already. Um, do you guys like longer or shorter videos? So, right now, most of my videos go on about... 40 minutes uh, of gameplay. 
So what I want to know is, do you want me to keep that 40 minutes? Do you want me to do more towards 20 minutes? You know, with this game, though, I will say it is kind of hard to do less time without having to do a bunch of cuts. Because you're constantly having to run around. And there's just a lot of cuts I would have to put in. And I don't want to constantly have to do that. I'm already doing a lot of cuts when it comes to sleeping and stuff. But uh, let me know about that. Leave a comment. Uh, tell me what you think. And I think that's about it. So without further ado, I, have, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.